Welcome, my dear microbiology students. Now that you've learned what these tests are and what the results should be, let's go over them together in summary. For your gram stain, for gram positive organisms, they will stain purple. You have a chemical composition of peptidoglycan, tachoic and lipotechoic acid, mycolic acid, and polysaccharides. The thickness of the gram positive cell wall is very thick from 20 to 80 nanometers. It does not have an outer membrane, which means you have a higher permeability. It does have a periplasmic space with those enzymes. Meanwhile, your gram negative microorganisms will stain pink. The chemical composition of your gram negative organisms is peptidoglycan, lipopolysaccharide, lipoprotein, and porins in their cell wall. The gram-negative cell wall is much thinner than the gram-positive cell wall. The gram-negative cell wall is only 8 to 11 nanometers thick. Your gram-negative microorganisms have that outer membrane. This makes them have lower permeability. Why? Because this outer fatty membrane is not very permeable and it likes to block substances. It also means your gram-negative bacteria are typically harder to kill, and you need different antibiotics to kill them. It also has a periplasmic space with enzymes. Next, let's focus on our acid fasting, found in page 195 to 200.